right, I'm going to do another video. Um, I've done a few videos already on this, but I have not uploaded in any. Um, so first, starting off, I wanted to do a video um, kind of having to do with the situation. Sorry about that. It only got cut off. Um, the whole pink pill situation with her boyfriend calling and where so they say. Um, the way I see it is that I see it so many different ways as far as for one, I want to go back to my job, okay? Um, uh, I think it's very important to talk about this situation because it gives you an idea of what people think of people who do the, well, wait one sec, actually, I'll be right back. I want to go back to my a job because it's like people always are talking about you know oh someone used the n word. Okay, this is a great example. Um, I have I had an ex co-worker by the name of Alan Males. Watching, no, I remembered you, dude. Um, he was a white looking man. Okay, um, like a lot of white looking people, basically. And um, I say his name because it's very important. There are these people out in West Virginia, and they go by the name, their last names are M A Y L E. Yes, I think there's an S at the end of that, but anyway. Um, they are very white looking, very white passing people. Uh, they're called Chestnut Ridge people. And, you know, they basically look like white people. Sometimes. This one, he looked exactly like a white guy, okay? Now, at my job, I worked at one of those jobs. I worked at Precision Opinion uh, when I was like in my early 20s. I was young, I was a kid. Basically, uh, a lot of kids work there. Oh, I mean, like, when I say kid, I mean, like, a college kid, basically. A lot of college kids work there uh, until they got better jobs, basically. I was one of them. And um, so at that job I was pretty laid back. It was a little, you know, a $10 job, whatever, um, minimum wage, little job. And, you know, people were very laid back and, you know, people, black people work there. Black people are laid back enough where they use the N-word, you know. You know, like at the regular, like, little low jobs, usually black people will use the N-word while they're working. Like at Burger King and McDonald's and all the others. You'll hear that if you, if you work there. Um, and this guy identified as black because that's how they do it. That's how the chestnut rich people are identified. They're identified as black people in their community, in the West Virginia region, and I believe other areas around there. They're identified as black people. Um, they come from a matrilineal line that is black, African, and a paternal line that is white. Their original male father, male's father, um, was actually a guy who passed for black uh, to basically uh, avoid persecution for his interracial relations with his wife, who was black. Um, so, he identified as black, but he looked like a whole white guy. Long hair, blue eyes, and skin that we, we're in Nevada. So he was looking a little tan, but I mean, it was summertime, so I'm guessing he had white skin like white people have white skin. But he identified as a black man because, you know, his people are considered black in his community. 
So, this guy climbs up the freaking stairs, screaming the N-word at a black guy. Yelling the N-word, like, you know, like, the people, we, we live in, we, we're in a bigger area. You would hear a black person could be yelling at someone down the stairs the N-word. And it would be okay because it was just a black guy at the top of the stairs and maybe there was a black guy at the bottom or somewhere else. In this case, it looks like a white guy is yelling the N-word down the stairs at other people. You know, um, in the vicinity that are black. You know, you see, in that situation, I noticed people were offended. Black people were offended. But the thing was, when someone found out that he was actually one of those people who was mixed and looked very white, they changed their tune and were totally fine with it. And to me, that is a big, big portion of what I'm trying to say here is that, you know, people keep trying to act like, you know, oh, you can use the N-word, black people can use the N-word, but then you're going to change tune when someone uses the N-word that you think is white. The same damn person can use the N-word, but if you say he has black in him, then it's okay. But if we didn't say it, it's not okay. It's the same person, whether he's part black or not. And you're really going off of whether he has Rodman or not. This is, at this point, like a psychological thing rather than a real offense. It's either offensive or it's not offensive. And that's why, why I'm trying to bring up in that situation where they're talking about Graceland uh, Razin's uh, boyfriend using the N word. It's like, okay, so the black guy used the N word. That wasn't offensive. Now, when the white guy uses the N-word, it's offensive. Now, if we can make someone look just exactly like Crystalline Karazin's boyfriend, look whiter than Crystalline Karazin's boyfriend, and have them use the N-word, and you're going to say that it's not offensive for them to use it just because, you know, in their lineage, they got black in it. Does any of this make sense to you? No, it doesn't. What you're doing, basically, is just playing games with yourself. Either it's offensive or it's not. And since you keep using it, I'm going to go with it's not offensive. Okay? So it's not offensive until you start acting like it's offensive. Otherwise, you know, it's, don't go crying about somebody using the N-word when you're calling yourself the N-word yourself. So that's all I have to say on the whole Crystal and situation. Thanks for watching. Bye.